Hey guys, I just filmed a tutorial for this look, so if you like what you see and would like to know how to do it, keep watching. Hey guys, so the other day I posted a haul with a lot of Illamasqua and MAC products that I got. Um, so today I thought I would use the products from that haul and do a little bit of a tutorial for you. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Illamasqua Matte Primer. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. It's a very white, liquidy colour. So I'm just going to use my fingers to put that on because I usually just use my fingers to put on a primer. So it's very soft and silky. <laughs> Unlike some primers, I've a lot of primers are quite oily, um, but this is and it dries really quickly. I guess because it's a matte primer. Um, so then I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. Um, as I said in the whole video, this has got SPF, uh, UVA and UVB protection, which is good because the Illamasqua Skin Base doesn't. Um, as I said, also <laughs> mine's in the shade SB06. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that out onto my hand too. Uh, the good thing about this is the bottle doesn't drip, even though... It's not like a pump or anything. Alright. So for a little bit of a pile on my hand. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush. I seem to have misplaced all my other foundation brushes. I'm just going to stipple that on my face. This has quite a nice smell. Uh, that's kind of weird, but... Of this is. So let me know in the comments. Getting quite a bit of shine from the light today. Okay, so that's my foundation done. Eyeshadows now. So I'm going to be using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Just gonna put that all over my eyelid and since it's a nice nude colour I'm gonna take it up to my eyebrow as well. I like how the colours of these are quite opaque. I'm going to take the expensive pink colour and brush. So this is the MAC 217 brush. Um, so I'm just going to be using that with the expensive pink. If you had the um, Rubenesque paint pot, you could just use that on the lid instead of this colour because they're very similar in colour. As you can see, that just added a nice peachy, curly, shimmery-ish colour. So that's a nice little wash over the lids. I'm next going to take a pencil brush. And yeah, so I'm going to take the, the mulch, mulch colour, which is just a gorgeous brown. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my pencil brush and just put it in the crease. Now this is going to be a kind of everyday look. So depending on how you like to wear your makeup every day, just do this as, as dark as you want. Now I don't like to wear intense makeup all the time, so I'm just going to put a little bit more here and then that will, I'll blend out in a minute and that'll be it. I always seem to do my second eye so much darker than the first eye, which is really annoying. But I like to take the crease colour quite towards the centre of the, the forehead, the nose area, just to, like very lightly, just to give a little bit of definition 
Because I find sometimes my eyes don't look very defined at all. I'm going to take the 217 brush again and just blend those two colours together. Okay. So that's what that looks like at the moment. I'm going to take now the Illamasqua Pure Pigment in Ferrero. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my 217 brush. And I'm going to put it in the inner corner. To kind of make me look like I'm awake. And I'm also going to put a little bit of that under the brow bone. Okie dokie. I might also put a little bit of that down my nose. It's like a little bit of a highlight. Oh, that made quite a difference actually. So now that I've done with my eyes, Oh, I might put mascara on first. I'm not going to put any eyeliner on because I don't like wearing eyeliner on a, a daily basis. And I find it makes me look a little bit strange. Ooh, not coming over. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Clump Crusher Mascara by Cover... No. I So now I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer. I'm going to conceal the, the dark circles under my eyes. This is the... I'm just going to take a little bit and put that on my blemishes as well. I got one on the bottom of my chin there. I always forget to cover. Okay, so that's looking quite well now. Just wipe off my finger. Um, I'm gonna powder now. So for every day, if I need to wear my makeup for a long time, I like to use a powder puff. Um, and this is the Stefan's Natural Powder. So I just, in the areas that I get really oily, I push and roll, just to get quite a lot of powder on. Because I don't want to get oily and, you know, that kind of thing. I just get under my eyes as well. Set the concealer. Now, as you can see, I don't worry too much about the cheeks. I just do a, a light pat of the cheeks because my cheeks don't get very oily very often. Whereas my nose, my forehead and my chin need a little bit extra. So then I will take a big fluffy brush. Base bronzer in milk chocolate. I'm going to use this brush again. This is the Elf Complexion Brush, if I didn't say that before. This smells amazing. I'm just going to take it from the middle of my ear, kind of down this way. And that just gives it a nice, you can see the nice little contour it's given me. You can see the difference between the sides. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Elizabeth Arden bronzer, the lighter colour, which is on this one here, get that on my brush and I'm just going to do like a three shade, so just not contouring but bronzing up my face a little bit because oftentimes in the, I look a bit pale when washed out so So I like to just bronze myself up a little bit. Alright, next I will take a blush. This is the Illamasqua blush in Sophie. And this is just a nice coral colour. Bright coral. Um, it's got quite a few, it's got gold shimmers in it. 
you just kind of see that there. So I'm just going to take a little bit, and as you can see, it comes off really a lot. So I'm just going to tap quite a lot of that back in. And smile, and I'm going to work this up my cheeks. Alright, and then I like to go back in with the natural powder um, on the same brush and just blend it all in. Just give it a bit of a, a buff in so that it all blends seamlessly because we don't want just really bright cheeks and bright contouring. Alright, and then I'm going to go in again with the Chi Chi Rose Wall of Shimmer. It's just a nice shimmery. And it's kind of a C shape. I also like to put that kind of in the middle of my forehead and a little bit on my chin and kind of down my nose. So I'm going to take, what's this, the Essence Lip Liner in Deep Blush, Red Blush. And these lip liners are so smooth and creamy and easy to use. So I'm going to line my lips and then fill them in with this colour, which is just a nice deep berry colour. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Maybelline lip colour in Blushing Brunette, which is 245, which is just a nice, just that colour there. I'm going to just put that on top, and that kind of soften, softens the the lip liner a bit because the lip liner is quite a dark colour. And last thing, because I can, I'm going to be using the bright pink Lamasca lip gloss in Divine. I'm just going to Just also soften it a little bit. And that's the finished look. And now I'm ready for the day. <laughs> Alright, bye.